Nico Breen's gone. Breen might steal this. Keep your eye on it. Keep your eye on it. Uh, it's really shit. It's the worst condition ever. Welcome back to the second day of racing here at the PWA World Cup Sylt. Also, the second daily recap from us. And today, we've had some rough, rough conditions. Even more wind than yesterday. Uh, there were some heavy crashes out there. I had some close photo finishes and it was freezing cold. Nasty start to the second day of racing. Lots of lots of rain, freezing cold. We've got below 10 degrees today. And uh, it's not very pleasant. Easy with this man because it will go through. Yeah, but I do the last bit with the screwdriver. I think you don't even need, you went too hard. <laughs> the the key is bending. Too hard? You know, if you say you want to do it a bit more, okay, good. Now I release it. You love my machine, huh? This machine is nice. I will get you one for birthday. Do you know when my birthday is? I don't know. You don't know? No. One. It's uh, during Japan. Ah, mean. you know what? I, last time I, I uh, for the birthday I gave you the screwdriver, no? No. No, it was just like that. Just like that. You but, gave me but, a gift just like I that. I told you it's for the birthday. <laughs> Okay. Got about, what, nine degrees? Try to keep my feet warm for as long as somehow possible. It was a dark, cold morning. Everyone took out their thickest jackets, rain pants, and the wind kept picking up more and more. Then all of a sudden the wind turned direction as well. My sail flew all over the place, uh, actually landed on top of a wing, so the sail ripped. So not a good start to my day. A bit late to the start today. So I make it. It is once again Bruno Martini going around in first place. Amalo Riesweig in second. Oh, and Bruno touches down. Thomas Goya touches down. Nico Breen is really struggling out of that mark. The two pride boys. Is that Struzmar? It is Struzmar and Nico Preen. We know he's got the speed. He had the trim yesterday. He's also got this uh, crazy little camera from Insta360 that he's kind of positioned in the front of his helmet. You can see how much he's having to work to keep that thing comfortable. It's not easy out there. Oh, and there we go. Mercer's gone down. Mercer, Benoit Mercer. That's one down. Struzmar still ahead of Nico Preen. Preen's gonna have to work for this one, but we are getting like, we're literally on board with Nico Preen here. As long as it's not dangerous sailing, this is all fair and in the rules. Struzmar is getting reeled in. Preen is coming back. Oh, and they're catching Thomas Goya. They're pushing it through. Wow. Oh, it looked like maybe Nico got it. Um, there we go. Oh, Bruno Martini goes down and nearly takes down Nico Preen. Preen does an amazing job to stay foiling. Needs some discards, this boy. Maciek Rakowski also needs them. Nico Goya. Oh, look at this. A real wide jive from Preen. Opens the door for Thomas Goya. Benedetti, Preen, Thomas Goya, and Nico Goya is getting pulled into this fight for fourth place. Could Nico Preen do it again? Amado Brees strike round, Rakowski round, Nico Goya round, Thomas Goya round. Good jive from Preen, good jive from Benedetti. Down this bottom end has been very good for the guys going towards the pin end of the line, but Benedetti is pulling in here. Benedetti is putting on some power on the challenger sail against Nico Preen on the Neil Pride. Oh, and Nico Preen's gone. Nico Breen has lost it on the reach. He was pushing hard and it is going to be easy in the end, but what a comeback from Benedetti. How did he do that? So today out on the water, we had the same problem as yesterday. We had these algaes in the water, which really pushed the nose of the board down. It 
didn't give much lift. The water density was high, yet when we came towards the end of the course, um, the, the algae disappeared and we had so much lift and so it was really hard to control uh, and in the semi-final of the last reach I had such a close fight with Daniele and uh, I was pushing just a little bit too much. Okay so this is the runners-up final. This is uh, Nico Preen down this bottom end. We got Thomas Goya above him then Sukas. Nico Preen wants that win. I mean he this guy's absolutely killing his YouTube channel right now. I mean I'm just looking at his subscribers and views. He is absolutely owning the thing. And I will know, because I've got one myself. It's not that easy. The guy's doing a good job. I'm surprised he's not riding on his wooden board, though. A bit disappointed. So, Nico Preen, round in first. Good jibe on the inside from Sukas. Could we see it happen? Nico Preen round in first. Vonk is getting some confidence here. Great jive from Jordi Vonk. What a jive from the Dutchman. Jordi Vonk, it's not over. Preen's down this bottom end. I'm thinking the way that finish line is, Preen could get this. So Jordi Vonk, Nico Preen going all the way to the line. Has it moved? We can't see the mark. I think Preen gets that. I'm pretty sure Preen gets it with the way the mark is placed. We can do an uh, inter... Uh, how do you say? Inception. Inception. <laughs> okay, we do Inception. <laughs> yeah, but for you I have to be shorter. For Lars, I have, for the audience out there, I have to be... Talk a bit more. And for Instagram, I talk a bit shorter. <laughs> you have a one minute, one minute window. <laughs> or I'll cut you off. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, okay. Then we'll go one minute. Well... Nico, damage limitations. Ninth. Overall, how was that one? Uh, did I finish in front of Jordi? Yeah, just. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I didn't see Jordi coming in the last one. I took it easy. But you know, in these conditions, everyone touches down every now and then. And Jordi somehow managed to not, not touch down. So basically for me, he was invisible because normally you hear it. Uh, but yeah, I feel like I should have been in the final. I uh, got stuck with, uh, with Bruno crashing out there, kind of hit him. Uh, tried to fight back, had a catapult on the last reach, pretty nasty one. So yeah, damage limitation, but uh, overall it's going quite okay. Good luck today, son. Thank you. <laughs> you also have what you need, no? I also have what I need, if you don't want to add anything. Uh, do I want to add anything? Such a, such a nasty day today. And the seaweed feels worse, so we're even more stuck. And uh, especially on the first reach, you need so much power in the foil. So even in between the heats, I came in to put a little bit more of a shim in between here. So I get more angle on the back wing. So the nose rises a bit higher. Yeah, it was cool. You know, I was uh, changing. I keep on changing stuff. I'm trying stuff I never tried before. Got a bit more comfortable on my gear in the loser final. And then, uh, yeah, I stayed with Nico. And the last jive was like, let's, let's go, no? Like I took the inside jive. And then I think if I would have gone down on him, I could have had him. <laughs> but I was so scared, I couldn't. I was just like, you know what? I don't want to lose the 10th place. Uh, and then I look at the finish, I look down, and that's why I saw Nico pass. So, uh, no, credit to him. He pretty much uh, leads from start to finish. So, uh, he did a good job. So the talk of the day was once again the seaweed, the algae in the water, which really made sailing so awkward. We couldn't really jibe, we couldn't get the speed that we would normally do, we couldn't use our usual settings. Uh, and some people actually thought that it was unfair to race. Uh, I'm not quite sure where I stand. On the other hand, on one hand, it's the same for everyone. On the other hand, you set up your gear really well. So it's completely different from what we normally train in. With everyone together and decide what we do. The continuation of the sport. What, what do you think? I mean, uh, and you told them already yesterday, and I told them today. Yeah. To me, yesterday today was no pain, no pain to race. Yeah. I told them yesterday in the, in the house there. Yeah. I told oh, them on the beach. Yeah, so, so let's meet with everyone. The boat. Let's meet with everyone. Huh? Even more tricky than yesterday. I think it's very raceable, to be honest. There's even more seaweed. It's even more gusty. So it's really not comfortable. So I'm happy I made it through, but it's really barely raceable. Uh, it's really shit. 
It's the worst condition ever. Uh, I don't know why we are continuing doing this shit. That's that bad. I, I cannot just uh, say this. And I don't like to talk like this, but I mean, uh, we are not... Uh, we, we, uh, we, can, we can sail in decent condition. Something we can ask, I think. It's, it's just bad. It's really shit. So, yeah. I don't know why is it worse than yesterday. This is also a question. But yeah. I mean, uh, you see, I adapt now. Yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. even worse than yesterday. So if I yesterday had time, I would adapt sooner. Just this I was trying to explain. Yeah, now yeah. it's not good. And here you can go freestyle or no? With the it big sails. It's hard to turn a bit more. But I think it's getting closer and closer. In, fro in forecast it is that it turns. Yeah, it turns. And it, it's, it, it's, it's much more uh, side shore than it looks from here. First reach to the is first mark is yes. the, the worst. Closer to the, the shore is more civic. So yeah. if they can move, the then the start is the very the third reach, then we will be fine. The more down you go, less see. So maybe if you put the second leg as first leg and you move the one down, I think it should be fine. Okay. Having a hard time falling in a straight line. On the inside it's impossible. impossible. Like to the first mark is it's shit. But then outside it's okay. But it, it doesn't stick, it goes through. Yeah, it's, yeah, like it's, yeah, it's like pudding. It's like the cat. Uh, super thin, yeah, it's super just a bowl, thin pudding. You know? Second and last race of the day. I think mainly due to the cold conditions, we're only gonna do two races today, which is, I think, fair. The race crew out there must be cold. We're definitely freezing. And uh, looks still windy, so let's give it another go. Preen's in this on the Neil Pride. So where is Nico Preen? He's down that bottom end, pushing through. Not in the top four at the moment, by the looks of it. Then Kuzan, there's Nico, and there's Mercer. So again, I think we're gonna see another tight battle, and Nico Preen got a good jibe there. So Bruno Martini, Nico Goya, Mattis, and then Alexander Kuzan. So Nico Preen still not inside the top four and won't be qualifying for the semi-finals. But he is caught up now. Mattis definitely under pressure from Preen and Preen trying to sail down on top of the Frenchman and Mattis just pushes up. Mattis pushes up. He's like, no, you are not going to sail over the top of me. If Preen hits the finish on that angle, we could see Nico Preen going through and we might see Alexander Kuzan missing out. So top two are guaranteed. Preen might steal this. Keep your eye on it. Keep your eye on it. I think he got it. I think he got it. Yeah. Oh my God. With oh, another one. Over, over Kuzan, no? Another one. Kuzan could have just missed out because he was high. Another photo finish. I think he got it. The fifth elimination was actually super tight and it came down to a photo finish between me and Alex Cousin, which I didn't think I made. So I came back to the beach thinking that that was it for me for the day, only to come back to the beach to hear from the commentator that I actually advanced into the semi-final. So I rushed back out and made it just in time for my heat. And Nico Preen right down that bottom end, also with a bit of work to do, but going on a shorter line. It's Benedetti. Then uh, Nico Preen squeezed on the inside of Benedetti. Great jibe from uh, Nico Preen, though. As uh, Enrico Marotti goes round in first, then Bruno Martini, then uh, Benedetti then Nico Goya, then Mattis, and then it's Preen. So Preen right out of it, and he is now. He is now, he is swimming. So that is good night for Nico Preen. I would love to know if they've moved the mark. Can someone tell me? In the middle of your pack. Oh, it looks starboard bias there. A lot of people pushing at the top end near the boat. Mattis with a good jibe. The wolf with a good jibe as they pump out of that. Mattis actually touches down. The wolf gets a little bit stuck as well. We've got Mattis 
in about second place, fighting it out with the Wolf. Then we've got Nico Preen. Then we've got Hooper, Jordi Vonk, Struzmar, Stallman. That's how it's looking at the moment. So Battle of the Germans here. Usually we're seeing Becker and Preen fight it out. This time we've got the Wolf and Preen fighting it out. Preen has gone low. It's been working for him. It's been working for everyone. Like I say, it seems like soon as someone realizes it, they do it every time. And why wouldn't you? There's an advantage to be had. It's a shorter distance to that mark. Maybe Matteo Yukino that wins it. Second place, Mattis. Third place, the Wolf. And it is going to be fourth place for Nico Breen. I had so many photo finishes today, insane. But uh, yeah, the fight is fun, but the outcome was not uh, not great now, not quite getting in the rhythm. Actually, I lost my the battery of my headphones, so I don't have the starting countdown on my ears. And uh, I totally messed up the starts now. And it's not only that I don't hear the countdown, but also it's a bit of a ritual, you know? So a cold, cold, rough day here on Sylt with a lot of action, a lot of uh, photo finishes, a lot of close fights, but in the end, in the ranking, nothing changed. The points got a bit closer together because we got a discard in, but it's still Johan Soy who is in first place, Bruno Martini in second place, and then it's Nico Goya in third. Same for the ladies, Justine Lemaitre is leading by quite a bit, she won all the races today. And then it's Mario Mortifon in second and still Blanca Alabo in third. And for me, what can I say, I dropped two places today from sixth yesterday into eighth today. But the points between the eighth, seventh and sixth are quite close. So I think there's still a chance for me to gain a spot or two. It's gonna be hard, definitely. It's gonna be a close fight. So stay tuned for the next videos. Be sure to let us know in the comments what you think uh, about the daily recaps. Let us know your questions. And I would say I see you guys in the next video.